Good day to you. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 24th December 2021, we'll be looking at the topic, His Word is Yea and Amen. We'll be taking our memory verse from the book of Mark chapter 13 verse 31, which says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Our text is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20, which says, For all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us. The word of God is ye and amen, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. Therefore, we should take note of all the futuristic sayings of Jesus Christ, because they shall surely come to pass. I have told the story of a madman who daily used a cutlass to harass people into giving him food. His regular victims were market women. Brandishing his cutlass, he would ask, If you think I can't cut off your head, and I do, what would you do? The women in terror would quickly give him some of their food and be on their way. One day, however, he came across a woman who replied, I won't give you anything today. You can do your worst. In anger, the lunatic eats his cutlass on the woman's head, but thankfully only managed to chop off one of her ears. There was pandemonium throughout the market. Beloved, if the lunatic made good his threat, what do you think of the integrity and words of the one who commanded the heaven and the earth to be and the war? When he said that the wages of sin is death in Romans chapter 6 verse 23, we had better believe it before it is too late. The reason is that he also said it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment, according to Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. So we are looking at the fact that God's word is yes and it is amen. So if God said something, it is true and it is so because amen means it is so. Yes means it is true. It is exact. So whatever God says, even in futuristic terms, it will happen. If God says something is going to happen, it will happen. If you want to wait till that time to find out, well, too bad for you. Because we've been told that God said he made heaven and earth and he said the wages of sin is death. So if you are waiting that well, when the death of it, and you know, you know when we talk about death, we are talking about the second death, eternal death. I say, oh, we'll find out what, what is on the other side when we eventually die. It will be too late. Or the one that says that it is appointed for men to die once and after that judgment. May I say, well, me, I don't believe that. I believe that people will reincarnate and come back, you will come back. Maybe you want to come back as a human being, if you like, you want to come back as a cockroach or whatever. It will be too late. If God has said it, it will come to pass. His word is forever settled. So whatever God has said, if he has spoken to you personally, or he has spoken to you through the Bible, take it for what it is. He honors his word more than his name. Whatever he has said will surely come to pass. We are told the story of a madman who used to harass market women with a cutlass in his hand threatening them that if he cuts off, if they don't give him food and he cuts off their head, what would they do? And the woman decided to, you know, call his bluff. And she was only lucky that it was just one head that was cut off. So don't let us go to find out whether it is true or not, because it is true. And at that point, it will be too late if we have disobeyed God and we have not obeyed his instructions. At times, children of God may want to prove to be more knowledgeable than their Heavenly Father. As in the case of the disciples and their spokesperson Peter in Mark 14, 30, 31 and 72. It is interesting to know that Jesus had earlier said in Mark chapter 13 verse 31 that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. The Lord spoke through his only angels in Acts chapter 1 verse 11. Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you to heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go 
into heaven. So we see a situation where sometimes we children of God, we become maybe because you know the world is advanced in knowledge. Some of us have acquired several educational degrees, or some of us feel we even understand the Bible more. You know, we know the Hebrew, the Greek, the Aramaic, and the different languages. I would think we know more than God sometimes. We rationalize with our little brains and think that, oh no, what God is saying may not come to pass, or it doesn't make sense, or, or the, the way the Bible puts it is too simplistic. But well, too bad. Because if God has said it, and you know what God has said, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. There's nothing you can do to change it. No matter how much you explain it, no matter how much you rationalize it, God's word will come to pass. Heaven and earth can pass away, but that is word must come to pass. Which is important, it is important for us to hear from God. Hear God's instruction because his word is yea and amen. Our attitude towards God's demand for holiness will become positive if we believe that Jesus is coming back to judge both the living and dead alike. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 15 to 17 and Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. The certainty of the knowledge of Jesus' second coming will help us stay in the path of righteousness, living a life that is only unacceptable unto the Lord, according to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. So, if the word of God has told us that Jesus is going to come back again a second time, then we had better believe and we had better prepare for that second coming because it is going to happen. We may say, oh, it's been a long time since they said it. Well, it will happen because God's word is always true. His word is here and amen. So let's prepare. Let's be watchful. Let's live a righteous life because any moment the word of God will come to pass. And our action point says, make up your mind that you will believe and live according to the word of God. And I pray that God will help you as you do so in Jesus' name. Let's say a word of prayer. Our Lord and our God wants to say thank you for your word that has come to us. Lord, we are asking that you help us to believe and completely trust in your word. Because your word is yea and amen. Everything you have said to us, help us to believe, have faith, and take the necessary steps and actions in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless you.